new appreciation maybe for us as teachers you know what do you guys continue to hope for or what do you want your school to continue to do are you going andrew that's a typical <laughs> typical silence wait <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm personally hoping that parents will take this sort of newfound involvement in their children's learning forward. Mm -hmm. um, I know particularly for secondary schools and in, in what I've seen is parents almost have sort of a fly in fly out relationship with teachers in the school. You know, you might, you might only meet a parent face to face once or twice a year at parent teacher interviews. Um, and almost going to school is sort of something the child does when they're dropped off at the school gate. So I'm hoping that after COVID, because parents have sort of been thrust into being the role of a teacher, with some parents even, you know, having to do 100% of the teaching work, I hope that we can take the opportunity to build better relationships between home and school and get parents involved in the classroom, particularly in the secondary setting, get them involved in the school and, and show that, you know, when parents and teachers work in tandem, it does result in better outcomes for their students. What do you think, Andrew? Yeah, um, you know, I really hope that parents, sort of this has created a bit more of an awareness for them. So, you know, just the importance of um, you know, creating a space at home, a study space um, for their child is just so important. You know, they need a space, you know, not the, not the dining room table. They need a, a, a desk, you know, a specific quiet location where they can go to do some work. And that hopefully parents will have um, invest a bit more time um, in, their, in their child's education as well. Um, yeah, so ho hopefully we see that going forward. Um, yeah. What do you think, Linda? Um, again, I think I've been quite fortunate because a lot of my parents have been so supportive and so appreciative. You know, we get emails being like, thank you for everything that you've done for our child and for, for the students. So I guess in that sense, I've been really lucky. So, I, you know, I want to continue fostering that, that appreciation and that relationship that I have with my students and their parents and continue working together because I think a lot of the time, we, we don't really see how much work gets put in behind the scenes. You know, we're in there, we teach, we come out, or we're on Zoom for a session, we come out. And then we really rely on the parents to be able to, you know, help us with the, with the stuff that we don't get to see at home. So I'm really hoping for that to continue, and I'm sure it will. And, you know, more importantly, after this whole COVID thing, just having this continual support and really, really, really good relationships with our co-workers, I think my colleagues have made a world of a difference. The leadership team have been nothing but amazing. They've just like supported us through this all. Absolutely. <laughs> We're all in it together. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. That's it.